Welcome to Dude RV. Today, I find myself at Brazzles Bend State Park. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I sure appreciate you stopping by today. I'm wandering around down around Houston, Texas today. And right now I find myself at Brazzles Bend State Park. Well, I got the scooter. I got the GoPro Hero 9 with the Max Lens Mod and I got you best of all. So let's go check out Brazzles Bend State Park. We are ready to roll. Cue the music. Now this is gonna be a rather long scooter video, but let me tell you, it is gonna be well worth your time to stay with me to the end. I've been to a lot of, this will be Texas State Park number 62 that I have done this type of video for. And this is in the top five most beautiful Texas State Parks. I've only been here a few short hours, but I have just absolutely fallen in love with this park. This is the prairie land. It's kind of a, a you know, a soft opening. But you just wait. It's gonna blow your mind. Now, I don't know that I'd wanna come to this park July and August, because it'll be hot and lots of mosquitoes. But right now, it's what, March 23rd, 2021. And it is beautiful. A little bit of a headwind there. Look at all these beautiful oak trees with the Spanish moss hanging down. Zip right through the gate. Boom! Speed ball. Now there's a group of folks gathered around a tree here at the front with their big long telephoto lenses taking pictures of two baby great horned owls. I have a little bit of cell phone footage, but I know that's not going to do it justice. Now there are several day use areas here at Brazos Bend State Park. The very first one when we, you roll in the, the park is the 40 acre lake day use area. There's a fishing pier playground structure, picnic tables, and a trail off to the left here that goes out to an observation tower where you can check out the, the swamp. Now I have footage of that on my experiential video. You can jump over to the Texas State Park playlist, you can find that. Or you can go to DudeRV.com and go to the Texas State Park page. That page is arranged in alphabetical order. So Brazzles Bend will be pretty much at the top. Everything is starting to turn green. We're just now getting into spring, man, and it is. Of course, it is the season for the season here in Texas. Now, when 
we rolled in, we saw a small herd of deer uh, somewhere right in this area. Right up here, where the where the, the field meets the tree. There are lots of trails. Must be an alligator. And since we are traveling through the swamp land on the causeway, Seems like it's a real long drive, but it's really not that far. It's only about three miles. At least until we get a little farther down the road here. There are biting flies that will bite you through your shirt. I can tell you that right now. I know that from personal experience. Now we're moving into the trees that are alive. Now this park is prone to flooding. We're on the lower Brazos River. And at the observation tower, they have a high flood marker, 52 feet above sea level. That's how high the flood was. That means I would be underwater right now. That wouldn't be any fun to be underwater. Just saying. appear to be a lot of trails that I'll be able to get on with the little red hopefully tomorrow I know the uh, nature trail I'll be doing that one it is a paved trail
pretty down here. You gotta come see this one. Of course, I, I say that about most of them. People always ask me, what is my favorite Texas State Park? And I, I can't just point out one because there's there's so many and they're all unique in their own their own way except for Walter Humphrey that was disappointing all right so here on the left we have the nature center and then right through there there's a trail coming up here on the right that leads to the uh, University of Houston's observatory that's open on Saturdays 3 to uh, 10 open to the public mind you the nature center it is also open on the weekends only We're going to run over to the second day use area, Hale Lake. The uh, road down here has some issues, so they put up a temporary traffic light. All right, and the sensor picked us up. In fact, the right lane here is, is gone. Tech dot, if you're watching, come pick that road. I love the, the roads in this park. They are nice and smooth for my scooter ride pleasure. Running into the wind. Hill Blake. Lots of picnic tables and barbecue pits, barbecue grills, big group pavilion. They actually have a air-conditioned group dining hall here as well. So if you want to have a family reunion during the hot summer months, you can do it with air conditioning. It is recommended that if you're fishing here and an alligator grabs your fish, just cut your line. Don't argue with the alligator. So what do y'all think of the video that comes out of this GoPro 9 with the Max Lens? You liking it? I know it blows my mind every time I 
edit this video footage, it makes me look like I know what I'm doing. The next place that Brad has been, State Park, that we're going to visit is another day use area. the camping loop. This is the back of the observatory. That's where the astronomers drive in. They have their own parking lot. There's the back side of one of those camping loops we're going to visit. You can just jump forward on the timeline if, you want, if that's all you want to see. If you're not into the scooter run, you won't hurt my feelings if you just jump to the campground. keep saying it but man, it's just so pretty here you gotta come see it to this loop. There's also a fishing pier on this lake. They also have signs that say, uh, don't let your dog swim in the water here. Don't play fetch in the water with your dog. The dog may become gator bait. So look at over here on the right. Look, look at how gorgeous that is. Would you don't, don't you just want to have a picnic? The 
Park Host has got the cool place to camp. Cause at night there is nobody back here but him. Be able to do too much on the, the trail with little red because of the mud after all that rain last night. I've seen several people washing off their bicycles. Water and electricity, water and electric scooters don't mix well. Welcome. Wild hog, feral hog digs. See hey, what those hogs are doing. They're destroying everything we own. come from we didn't see her when we went I guess she came out of that trail Getting low on, them, on battery. All right, might have to pick this up later. Push it to the limit. Well, I'm pretty certain that we can make it. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Right, so we're gonna zip through one of two camping loops. And we'll come out over there where that stop sign is. They do have firewood here. Five dollars a bundle. Now, 
knowing what I know now, I really like the, the 100 series of campsites on this loop. Much better than I do the loop that we're on. There are more trees and the, the sites seem to be more flat. Easier to get level. So yesterday I met some folks that were traveling through from Alabama and uh, that young lady told me that we have the biggest rabbits that she's ever seen. <laughs> Alright so over here we're going to do this cabin loop first. And then we'll come back to the RV loop. So you don't have to have an RV and you don't have to sleep in a tent. They have some really cute little cabins. And that's the group dining hall with the big kitchen and air conditioning. surprises me that they don't have more tent camping sites than what they do. There are some, but not as many as I would expect. where we are set up next almost to the end of this loop the longest continuous scooter run I've ever done without having to do a battery swap. What a run, what a run. Well, we originally were supposed to be in this site right here, but I couldn't get us anywhere close to level. We ended up right here in a handicapped spot. All right, so over here is where all of your tent camping sites are, and they are all walk-in. As far as I know, that's the only tent camping sites in the park. And here we are. Home again, home again. Jiggity jog. Man, those are always so much fun. I sure appreciate y'all coming along with me for the ride. If you're with me, still with me, <laughs> thank you so very much. 
that's a, that's a long run. If this is your first visit, I sure hope you consider clicking on the subscribe button and remember to hit that bell as well. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I am deeply honored and especially thank you to my Patreons. I really appreciate your support. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?